The following story has been brought to you by storiestoinspire.org. My Shrezer Chanin Rav Rocha was nifted a few years ago. He was a very, very special person. From the time he took ill till his petir, it took about six or seven weeks. He came suddenly not well, and the disease progressed very quickly. And he lived in England, and I went to visit him the final week. We went to England, and we came to the hospital, and they told us he's no longer, um, he's, he's semi-conscious, not recognized, but he was such a weakened state, he came and he didn't know who had come in, he was just, we sat with him, this was, I arrived on a Wednesday night, so that's Wednesday, Thursday, the doctors told us it was a matter of days, Friday, just before this man, suddenly, he picks his, himself up, he opens his eyes with a big smile and says to me, Oh, Frayim, Shalom Aleichem. What are you doing here? I said, You're awake. Yeah? He says, and then my brother-in-law walked in, he said, Oh, he's awake. He says, It's just before Shabbos, you can still put on tefillin. Let's quickly, quickly bring me the tefillin. And they ran to bring him tefillin, and he put on his tefillin, and then I, I, I thought I was in a different world. The man lifted himself up off to his bed and he said, Shema Yisrael, Hashem Aleikeinu, Hashem Echot, Ve'ahavtot, Hashem Aleikecha, B'chol Levavcha, B'chol Nafshecha. And he went through the whole of Krishna. And then he stopped and lied back down on his bed and then came Shabbos. Through Shabbos he never woke up again. Matzah Shabbos was Yitzhiyas Neshama. And I told the story to a Chosh of a Talmud Chach, but he was very Nisragish. He had a mitzvah before the Ptira, he had a tefillin leg and a Krishma. And he said, you know, he called me back. He said, you know, I was just thinking to myself, I'm so nispoil from this story, but tomorrow I'm putting on tefillin too. Here I'm thinking, he, we put on tefillin every day. Do we think about it for a moment? Your Talmud Rabbi Chonan used to say, Though when Rabbi Chonan made the bracha on tefillin every day, it sounded like the bracha on Tkiyah Shoifah. Of course, but we do it every day. It becomes Nisiyashem. We don't see what we have here. If the, we see a man in his last moments of uh, on life grabbing a mitzvah, oh, and we remind ourselves how precious a mitzvah is. Enjoyed this story? Come again. Bring a friend. Stories to inspire.org.